Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you how to assess the lower limb myotomes. And we're going to start at L2 and finish at S2. Even though most pathologies that affect the nerve roots tend to be either the L4, L5 or the S1. But it makes sense in the demonstration to show you the myotomes for L2, 3 as well and also the S2. So let's start with hip flexion, which is L2. We bring the leg of the patient into hip flexion and knee flexion. I call it the 90-90 test. And then from there, I'm going to say to my patient, can you pull your leg this way, please? And she can resist against the resistance. And we would normally grade that as a five on a zero to five scale, five being normal. So that's L2. Place the leg over your leg. And then this one is mainly for the quadricep. I'm going to ask her to slowly straighten the leg, palpate the muscle, push up, please. And then that's testing L3. L4 is mainly tibialis anterior. I ask my patient to bring her foot up, please, which is dorsiflexion. Turn the foot in slowly, which is inversion. Hold your foot in that position. Hand over the dorsal foot. I pull down whilst my patient matches. And that's testing the L4 nerve root. L5 is the EHL muscle. So I'm going to use the great toe, which is called the hallux. And I ask my patient just to maintain that position. And then I, using two fingers, pull down and she resists. So that's mainly testing L5. S1, there are three. The first one is eversion of a foot. So I'm going to get my patient to turn the foot out. I come over like a trigger finger, like this, stabilize, and I try to invert whilst my patient matches eversion. And she is strong. If I ask my patient to push her foot down, which is plantar flexion, which is also S1, and S1 is also hip extension. Come in this way, ask your patient to push, okay, using the gluteus maximus, push. And that's also S1. But my preferred way is the E version. Now, the last one, which is S2, if you turn over, please. Remember, I'll be testing the right leg. So we might as well stick with the right leg. So I'm going to bend the patient's knee, come under. I can stabilize the hamstring or the pelvis from here if I want to. Okay, from there, I'm going to ask the patient to slowly pull the heel towards your bum. So she is matching. I can stabilize. Be careful because patients can get cramped in this one. But if she can match, then that's basically testing the S2 myotome. So what we've done, we've done the lower limb myotomes, starting at L2 and finish, finishing at S2.